Hello friends, hope you all are doing great. Today's class, I would like to explain about parasitic weed and weed seed dormancy. Let us see the meaning of parasitic weed. Parasitic weed defined as any plant which depends on any other plant for its growth and development is called parasitic weed. There, two, there are two types. One is partial parasitic weed and the other one is complete parasitic weed. Partial parasitic weed means this particular weed will depend on the other plant for its growth, maybe for water, any one or two resources, but not completely. It may synthesize its own food by depending on sunlight to undergo the process called photosynthesis. But when it comes to the complete parasitic weed, it will completely depend on the other plant for its growth and development. It will not synthesize its own food or it will not depend on any other, but completely on the host plant. So weed is the parasitic weed, parasitic plant and <clears throat> other plant called host. So any plant which depends on the host plant for its growth and development is called parasitic weed. So there four types of there, already I say two are there partial and complete. When it comes to the plant it will be <clears throat> two types again root based and stem based. In root based total root parasite and partial root parasite or semi root parasite and when it comes to the stem it may it will be total stem parasite and partial or semi stem parasite so here four types are there for each they are we are having examples also so let us come from root to stem in root two types are there already said semi or partial root parasite and total root parasite so for example is triga or which weed for semi or partial root parasite if it comes to the complete root, root parasite it is warbanke or broom rope other name so please do remember striga or which weed is a partial root parasite and warbanke or broom rope is a total root parasite then let us come back to the stem <coughs> depending parasitic weeds the, one, the first one is loranthus other name is bird wine b i r d v i n e bird wine it is a semi or partial stem parasite the other one is dodder or cascuta it is total stem parasitic weed so <clears throat> i would like to give a small <clears throat> trick to remember please do remember the word called sold so the first letter of each <clears throat> word I have taken out and I created the word sold. The first letter of sold resembles the first letter of striga, O resembles Varabanke and L of Loranthus, D of first letter of daughter. So please remember sold. So when you remember sold, please come from root to stem. So the root parasitic weed partial, root parasitic weed is striga, that is S, Varabanke, O, Loranthus, L, D, daughter. So when you go for the exam, when you remember this trick, you will not confuse of either it is partial stem parasite or complete stem parasite or root parasite so that's the reason i'm just giving a word to remember so sold is the shortcut form to remember then what are the <coughs> these parasitic weeds and which host plant are they coming then let us see that so daughter especially comes on the crop called lucent and loranthus comes on the trees especially mango and varabanke especially comes in tobacco crop and striger which weed comes in sorghum even they come in sugarcane crop so anything <coughs> anything they may ask loranthus either it is a semi or <coughs> complete stem parasite or on which crop do they come then management practices let us see see please keep in your mind for the other parasitic weeds especially we do use 240 herbicide so but for the daughter weed alone we go for paracut paracut you know that is a non selective herbicide which will kill all the plants so paracut is the herbicide that we use for the daughter it the quantity is 1 kg per hectare then the next one is copper sulfate or 240 we use for loranthus to control then the to control verbanke we use 240 <coughs> even for strike also we use 240 so and, uh, apart from 240 to control for a bank in tobacco crop we can go for kerosene also so these are the management practices or herbicides that we use in <coughs> to control parasitic weeds but 
Though we use these herbicides, we cannot eradicate completely any parasitic weed in the field. But the best method to control this parasitic weed is crop rotation. So the crop, the weed, the parasitic weed which is depending on that particular crop, we better avoid that particular crop for some seasons of one or two years so that this parasitic weed cannot find host plant to grow. So the, by that way, the, by two years or three years, this parasitic weed seeds will get die and when we go for crop rotation. Then by two, three years later on, we can go for again the same crop. Likewise, the best method to avoid parasitic weeds in the field. Then the next topic is dormancy and types of dormancy. The meaning of dormancy is nothing but the resting stage of seed. The resting stage of seed means, see when though seed is having the favorable conditions, maybe temperature or the soil moisture, water it may be all are favorable for the seed but still it will not germinate. That we call seed dormancy. There are three types according to Harper. In the year 1977, he said that there are three types of dormancy where seed is not germinating though favorable conditions are there. So according to him, there are three types. The first one is innate dormancy, second one is enforced dormancy and the last one is induced dormancy. Let us see the meaning of each one. Innate dormancy means the genetical changes in the seed is called due to genetical changes in the seed is called innate dormancy so genetical means because of immaturity of embryo and because due to hard seed coat either any one reason seed will not germinate that thing we call innate <coughs> dormancy so because of the genetical changes if seed doesn't germinate that we call innate dormancy then let us see the next one enforced dormancy enforced dormancy is nothing but when weed seed is deeply placed in the soil because of which if it is can it is unable to germinate that we call enforced dormancy how weed seeds will be deeply placed in the soil when we go for plowing the field the uppermost layer of the soil where seeds are there they will go to the lowermost layer of the soil and deeply placed in the soil where they cannot germinate that we call enforced dormancy so though they are going to the deeper layers of the soil it doesn't mean that they are losing their viability but they are still alive when we go for again next plowing they will be coming to the topmost layer of the soil again they start germinate so that's called enforced dormancy when wheat seeds are placed deeply into the soil. Then the next one is induced dormancy. It is sudden physiological changes of the seed is called induced dormancy because of any factor, external factors because of the climate or anything. Sudden changes if it happens in the seed that is causing to not to germinate the wheat seed is called induced type of dormancy so for innate dormancy the best example is ipomia so deep placement there is no particular example for these two but based on because if the wheat seed is going to the deeper layers of the soil that will be <coughs> Enforced dormancy, any weed seed it may be. For induced also same, any changes if it happens to any weed seed that come go undergo induced dormancy. But genetical changes are happens in ipomia, even other examples are there there. But please do remember the one of the important blank for this is innate, enforced and induced. These three kinds of dormancy is undergone by the plant seed called Avena fatua. Avena fatua is the plant. These seeds will undergo all these three types of <coughs> dormancy. And not only that, another plant is there, Polygonum persicaria. P-O-L-Y-G-O-N-U-M P-E-R-S-I-C-A-R-I-A <coughs> Persicaria. So Polygonum persicaria is another plant which also undergo all these three types of dormancy. So, so in every in most of the exams, Avena fatua is the blank which they ask. And one more thing also, please do remember, Polygonum persicaria also one of the plant which undergo all these types of <coughs> dormancy. And another important blank that you have to remember is one year seeding is equal to seven years weeding. That means if we does if you don't do any year, if you don't go for <coughs> weeding, that means we are going for seven years seeding. That means if you don't go for one year weeding that means nothing but we are going for one year seeding that means for the upcoming seven years we have to go for weeding that 
so such a way weeds can produce their seeds to the field so upcoming seven years we have to go for weeding so we better go for every year we better go to go for weeding instead of skipping any year so that's the meaning of this one year seeding is equals to seven year weeding so hope you <coughs> find this class is very informative if you like this class please like the video and if you don't subscribe please do subscribe and share with your friends thank you so much